Directly behind me is my M3 Max MacBook Pro. It has one terabyte of storage. I also have a base model Mac Studio with 512 gigs of storage. And something I run into sometimes, and any of you that, especially if you have like a base model machine of any kind uh, on a Mac, is sometimes you start running out of space and you're trying to figure out how to make more room for your important files. You've gone through and you've deleted everything extra that you don't need. And so you've gone through your hard drive and you still can't figure out a way to make enough room for your important files, your photography, your video, your graphic design files. And yeah, there's cloud storage and there's ways to get around that. There's external storage, but what about the SSD that's built into your Mac or your specific device? And I'm going to show you a quick tip to delete all these extraneous files from your Mac so you have more room for your stuff and the program is called OmniDisk Sweeper. So I'm going to turn around onto this my laptop here and show you how this program works. It's free and it allows you to save literally gigabytes and gigabytes worth of data by deleting caches and old files that you no longer need. So let's turn around and take a look. All right, so we have OmniDisk Sweeper open right now and I'm looking at my main one terabyte boot drive. What's cool is, is it shows all of your external drives too. And so once you open it up, you just hit sweep Macintosh hard drive. You might have to give it permission to look in certain folders, but once you give it all the permissions, it's going to drill down and show you all of these files that are taking up a lot of space. And where we want to focus on is mainly application support and caches. So let's first look at application support. And in my case, there is, I've discovered 42 gigs of space being taken up by something called iMazing. And I think this was some kind of backup utility I tried a while back, maybe a long time ago. I don't even have this app anymore, but the storage of the cache file, or I should say the application support files are still here. And man, it'd be nice to have 42 gigs of space back, wouldn't it? So literally all you do is click on this amazing folder under application support, which is buried in the Mac, and you're just gonna hit trash. Bam, that is gone. Now let's look at caches. Caches is where programs like Adobe Creative Suite will store caches for different programs you use, or lots of other apps will store cache files in there. So let's look in Adobe because there's 19 gig, 20 gigs of stuff under Adobe. So let me click on that. And what the heck, <laughs> Adobe After Effects has like 20 gigs of, 19 gigs of stuff. And that's not cool. I don't, I use After Effects, but it's not my, it's not a daily thing I use. I use it maybe once a year or something because my main trifecta of Adobe programs is Adobe InDesign, Adobe Illustrator, and Adobe Photoshop. Well, and Lightroom. You know what? I'm going to get rid of that cache folder too. Those are just cache files. It's just, it's like rendering things on the fly and saving it so it's easier to to re-render them on the fly as you're working in Adobe After Effects. But since I don't use it that much, I'm gonna delete that crap. Get the heck out of here. All right, so what was that? Like 60 gigs or something I've already saved. And I, I like how simple and granular this is. You can see even like if I go to shared, I don't know why the heck there's some shared Epic Games. Okay, so this is weird. Under shared, there's a thing called Epic Games from when I did some testing with Unreal Tournament on the Mac, which is, it's just a, an old school shooter game. I don't even really game or do much on my Mac for that kind of content. So what the heck? Here's another 30 gigs of stuff that I don't need that's just been sitting on my hard drive that I would never have found unless OmniDisk Sweeper showed me. Another way to do it too is you can just drill into that folder in the finder if you don't want to use OmniDisk Sweeper. OmniDisk Sweeper is just an easy way to do it because it's very granular and it shows you how much space those things are taking up. So in this case, Epic Games, I can see that folder here under shared. So it's within my user folder and then there's the shared folder and there is a Epic Games folder. So 
I can literally right click on that and say move to trash. It'll ask for my password and now that is in the trash. All right, so let's see. So I'm in my trash now. I'm gonna, I just, I'm just curious how much space these three folders were that I discovered hidden deep within my Mac. So let me get info on this junk folder. What the heck? <laughs> so those three, I pulled them out back out of the trash. Those three things I found. After Effects Cache, Epic Games, and iMazing Cache. And that is 88 gigs of junk. What on earth? It's going back in the trash. On my MacBook Pro right here, that was just a quick tip to show you how you can save, literally in my case, 88 gigs of space from your Mac using OmniDisk Sweeper, especially if you've had a Mac for a while, or maybe it's been one of those Macs where you transferred stuff from your old Mac maybe multiple times. There's a big chance that you have huge folders full of large amounts of data from caches, from programs that you no longer use. So use OmniDisk Sweeper. It's completely free. I just wanted to tell you guys about it. I'll leave a link down below for the app. And if you liked today's quick tip, please subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up and ring that bell to get notified when I drop new content. And I'll see all you guys on my next video. Mm -hmm.